الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Arthropod Born Diseases Introduction by Professor Mahmoud Hani Suleiman You can scan this picture to find my channel on YouTube The notable arthropod bore diseases. Their causative agent may be virus, rickettsia, bacteria, spirochetes, protozoa, and nematode. The viruses cause diseases like yellow fever, dengue fever, the vector is mosquito, dengue hemorrhagic fever, mosquitoes, chikungunya, West Nile fever, also mosquito, Japanese encephalitis mosquito, phlebomotus fever, sand fly, chiasonor, forest disease, heartache. The kids see like epidemic typhus, trench fever, endemic murine typhus, tick typhus, Q fever, epidemic typhus and the trench fever by louse, endemic murine typhus by rat, rat flea, Tick typhus, Q fever by tick, Rocky Mountain spotted fever by tick, Rickettsia box, scrub typhus by mite, bacteria like typhoid fever and cholera by house fly, Shigellosis plague by rat flea, Spirochete like relapsing fever caused by louse or transmitted by louse Sprotozoa malaria transmitted by mosquito Leishmaniasis the vector is sand fly African trypanosomiasis CC fly Chagas disease Rhodovid bug Nematode filariasis by mosquito Draconculiasis, Cyclops, Oncocerciasis by black fly. Please print and use this table. What is a vector? It is an arthropod capable of transmitting disease. Two types of vectors by mode of transmission of disease, namely mechanical vector and biological vector. Mechanical vector arthropod passively directly transmits pathogen without biting. For example, house fly mechanically lifts up pathogens from filthy substances and deposits it over eatables and so contaminates food. Biological vector arthropod transmits pathogens indirectly by biting reservoir and sucking blood containing pathogens. Subsequently, pathogens undergo cycle inside vector body for a period. Yep, a cycle inside vector body for a period. Then vector can spread disease, for example, mosquito, rat flea, and cyclops, etc. Biological transmission are of three types. Propagative, cyclopropagative, cyclodevelopment. Propagative type of transmission. Pathogens multiply inside vector. For example, plague bacilli in rat flea, yellow fever virus in Aedes mosquito. Cyclopropagative pathogens undergo multiplication and cyclic development inside vector, e.g., malarial parasites. In female anopheline mosquito. The third type of biological transmission is cyclodevelopmental. Pathogens undergo only developmental changes and no multiplication inside vector, e.g., Vujri and Crofty microfilaria inside female Culex mosquito. Guinea worm 
embryo in cycles. Other, the mechanical and biological arthropod also transmit disease by invading tissue of the skin of man or inoculating poison. Invading tissues of man, invading skin by like each mite invading skin leads to scabs. Inoculo, inoculating poisonous substance, a scorpion when it stings or a spider when it bites, a scorpion and spider. Common term is used in entomology, extrinsic incubation period. It is period of time required for disease agent to multiply or a phase of cyclic development or both inside body of arthropod, e.g. Extrinsic incubation period in malaria, filariasis, yellow fever are 10 to 14 days. Infective mosquito equal a mosquito capable of transmitting disease agent. It becomes so after extrinsic incubation period. Infected mosquito, mosquito is said to be infected when disease agent inside its body but not yet become infected. Definitive host, one in which sexual phase of parasite life cycle happen. For example, female anophilime mosquito in malaria, man in filariasis. Intermediate host, equal the one inside it, asexual phase of life cycle of parasite of care, asexual phase in the intermediate host. E.g. Cyclops, female culex mosquito infradiasis. Infestation, equal lodgement, growth, development, and reproduction of arthropod parasite on surface body. For example, Laos infestation. Principles of arthropod control. Control of arthropod mainly under four measures offensive, defensive, corrective, and health education. Offensive me measures equal attacking arthropod and killing them, e.g., use of insecticides. Defensive measure equal PPD or PPE personal protective equipment or personal protective devices for attack of insects, e.g. use of repellents, curtains. These do not contribute to control of arthropods. However, it helps in control of disease. Corrective measures, modification of environment. So it becomes unfavorable for arthropods to lay eggs. So arthropod is controlled. Principles of arthropod control, continued health education of community to share in control of arthropods. Since no single method is effective in controlling arthropods, recent trend methods lead to methods to control vectors. This is called integrated approach, which will be uh, de described in the coming figure after the coming slide. The newer methods of control of vectors are genetic control measures as sterile male technique, cytoplasmic incompatibility, and chromosomal translocations, insect growth regulators, chemosterilants, sex attractants. Please Visit Google or Wikipedia for knowing more about these methods, about these genetic control measures. Also, hormones, hormones means substance secreted by arthropod received by another arthropod resulting in change of behavior of the development process. They are also called ecto-hormones. This is the integrated method to 
integrated method to control disease vectors. First, personal protection, either repellents or bed nests, health education of the community, school children, t through TV, through mass media. Source reduction, either by intermittent irrigation, water level management, management of water margins, land filling, channeling and draining. Chemical like larvicide, adulticide, insect growth regulators. Biological, either by protection of natural enemy, bringing exotic natural enemy, genetic manipulation, microbial agents, larvivorous fish like gambosia. This is an example for health education materials prepared by World Health Organization about vector-borne diseases. Vectors may be a threat to you at home and when traveling. Vectors are small organisms that carry serious diseases. These are examples of vectors, ticks, sand flies, and mosquitoes. With just one bite, they can transmit diseases such as malaria, dengue, leishmaniasis, Lyme disease, yellow fever, Japanese encephalitis. This is spread by vectors kill a million people every year. More than half of the world's population is at risk. Take simple measures to protect yourself and your family. Get vaccinated against yellow fever and Japanese encephalitis. Install a screen at windows to prevent, for example, mosquito. Wear light-colored, long-sleeved shirts and trousers. Use insect repellents. Sleep under an insecticide-treated bed net. Get rid of stagnant water where mosquitoes breed, such as in old containers, flower pots, and used tires. For more information, contact your health care professions. And this is the uh, site for World Health, where you can find this brochure and others. This is an example you can Use it, you can print it and use it, put it in your clinic or hospital, or you can make another one. Taking this is an example. Thank you for your good listening.